Troy. So good to see you, man. You too, champ. Your big victory solidifying your status as the only champion on SmackDown has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. Oh, I won't. I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great! There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember we're only the messengers. This is straight from The Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think Miz's words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha, 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 ha. So, uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. I'm gonna out-hustle every man in the chamber, and I'm gonna walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion because Miz sets him up, and I knock him down. So, anything else you wanna cover? Uh, I think you made your point. Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody? Good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. 
What? If you get through the elimination chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. It's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. Good luck. Devil's favorite demon. The following contest is an elimination chamber match and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger representing the Brothers of Destruction from parts unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, King! A chorus has broken out for Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, 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 oh. Stop it. Stop oh, it. You almost oh, shut up the entire oh, arena just now. I was having fun, guys. And introducing the challenger. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Sam Freakin' Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. And introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! What an intimidating sight this chamber must be for all of these competitors. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. And introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. I can't imagine what it must be like locked inside the unforgiving structure. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan. Logan Paul is extremely self-confident with so few matches to his name, but the dude has transformative punching power that can turn anyone's lights out in one shot. There's a palpable energy that races through a capacity crowd when Logan Paul heads into the ring to compete. You can feel it now. The champion is ready to break free and unleash chaos. And introducing the champion from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 233 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Don 
Look at the champ strutting toward the ring like a conquering hero, admiring trophies from his past battles. Well, I'm pretty sure his opponents remember those battles too, and let's just say they're not lining up to exchange pleasantries. Let's see if history repeats itself or is rewritten. Five top challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. And not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. Oh! Big forearm. Oh, a ripcord knee. Ooh. Rocking the wrist. Yikes, that'll need to wake you up or knock you out. All the way up. The big time power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Knife edge chop. He got whipped into that corner just like that. Paul finds a counter. Up next is Kane, and he's going to leave it all inside the chamber. Oh, fuck Jack. Buster. That is it. Quick kick out. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. Chicken wing under all. Looks to release a firestorm of brutality. Now uh, hook him up. Face Buster. The challenger eating up some damage. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh. Good technique reversing rounds. Oh, man. 
Uh oh, second rope. Are you kidding? Rollins lining it up. Cover! The title changed hands. Wow, just barely making it out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Only three competitors have been eliminated. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. I think the champ's got it. Pin. Kick out the hook. Lives up. He was waiting for him to make his move. Picture perfect drop kick. In the wrist. Kamagoye on the mark. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. And now these Three two are fighting for that eliminated. final fall. Take down. We're going to the cross base. It's cinched in. This could be over. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, I think we know what Rollins is looking for. Points it up. And coming. Hoping to end it here. This is it. He's able to beat a two count. There is no quit in this man tonight. Rollins planning out his next move. Might just be the last one he needs. Stops the kick. Standing moonsault. Is it enough? The cover. The challenger stays alive. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Brandor drop kick on the money. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Oh, shot knee. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. From the top. From the top. Oh, a superstar. Here's a roll through. Super kick in the face. The champ has this one in hand. Strength. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. Though you got to believe. Oh, no! Oh, good Lord. Taking flight from the pod, and that's got to be the most... Does he get him here? Oh, how did he get the shoulder up? Oh, man, he has fired up now. And the hits to the core keep coming. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Butterfly pile driver. Outrageous balance on display. And drops the elbow. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Take off. Wow. Champ. That's gotta be it. Two. And the champ retains. Here is your winner. And still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the the WWE Universal Champion has outlasted the toughest opponents from his past. But now, what lies ahead? He's pretty much defeated everyone. What lies ahead is the champion who has reigned longer than the Dark Horse, and that's Gunther. I just survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah, I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have, that somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it.